Hey guys, it's Fonzie Revenge here today with a little tutorial of uh, how to get a, a Nintendo DS in your computer. Very simple. First things first, I suggest you make a new folder. I'll just call it DS. Very simple. And here I'm going to have two links in the description one for No Cash GBA and one for No Cash Zoomer because that thing has a very small screen. Alright. This link will be on the description, no problem. Uh, right here, uh, this will uh, the annotation will point to it. Yeah, uh, we have uh, the no, the uh, the emulator. Simple enough. All right, before we uh, use no cache zoomer, we're gonna need uh, ROMs, right? So all you have to go is go to romulation.net. Uh, I suggest making an account because uh, you're gonna need lots and lots of stuff. So we'll just uh, download a DS game. Uh, let's search for uh, pesky ads. All right, let's just search for. Hmm. I wonder which one. Pokemon. And we shall get. Uh, well, mo mostly I shall get. Um, Pokemon Planet, the Japanese one. Why Japanese? Because it's interesting. And uh, after just download from the server. If you have an account, it'll be like around 200, so uh, just save it to your desktop. Uh, just wait until it's done, I'll just skip it right now. And it happens. It's done. See, uh, download complete. Pokemon Platinum. Thanks to Xenophobia. Just extract it. It shouldn't take that long. So, uh, yeah. Um, if there might be some problems, but before we get a no cash zoomer, um, we're gonna see if this works after it's done. It's usually faster just because I'm recording. Uh, Fraps does that to you, the PC. So yeah. There it is. Let's rename it. Pokemon Platinum. Mm, Japan and let's get rid of Xenophobia. Now, here we have the no cache GBA emulator. Click and drag it right there. Uh, let's put a ROMs folder right there. Click and drag. Simple enough. Open it. Opening it. And let's go to games. DS, I mean. ROMs. Good emulator. Uh, I suggest you put uh, right here, VJ Poppy Bright, Poppy Bright. Uh, let's edit the controls. Down, left, right. A B. Select. Start L R X. And let's save. If you press select, it uh, speeds up, which is awesome. So yeah. Uh, 
So uh, if you press your plus button, it'll uh, speed up. So yeah, let's get out of there. We can delete this now and this. So now we know that works. Let's get a uh, our no cash zoomer. Just out from there. Just wait 10 seconds or or now click to download saving it and it's done downloading so you have the no cash zoomer by Fedoriel is 17 Let's go back to our DS folder. Let's just drag this in there. Now, if we go to there, oh yeah, we can get rid of this and that. Now, yeah, let's just cut this and paste it. Yeah, I kind of messed up right there, but I fixed it already. Now, if you click on your no-cache zoomer application, it, it's going to search for uh, no-cache GBA. So pretty much we go back to our DS, click on that, and here we could uh, search for, it'll search for our game. Now, some things I suggest, um, uh, uh, here you can also check your settings and save your settings. We can render it through uh, OpenGL or DirectX 8. You can change the size if you want. Uh, you can uh, ratio of the screen. The filter I suggest you use uh, none. Filter uh, scale x. Yeah, scale x2. And yeah. Turn that down a little bit. Yep. That's it. So, uh, hope you liked it. Oh, yeah, and right here you can have turbo. Turbo settings uh, on your pad. So, yep, that's it. You can change your volume. Uh, that's pretty much all. Alright, so, uh, this is Fonzie's Revenge, 